So it's new for me on my original character. I just only tank as the pig. So I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for healer glam. Right now, you're just seeing whatever gear I have equipped. So sometimes it looks a little crazy, and other times it looks more cohesive. That's just luck. Yeah. All right, so I'm I've over. had this lovely so... bikini for like 10 levels. What? <laughs> Yeah, I got a little... I'm, I'm a cat girl. Did you not know that? Oh, no, I didn't Yeah, everybody that. talks trash about cat girls, and they're like, Chris plays a pig, and I'm like, and they're like, yeah, I can't believe people play cat girls, and I'm like, yeah, that's totally insane. Uh, cat girls And I, I'm a cat girl. <laughs> I'm totally not a cat girl. Finally, good transmog. Thank you, Sword Art. I like my pig. I got an ugly duckling this week. As a minion. He follows me around. All right, so what's your character name? Xandri. That makes sense. <laughs> that wasn't taken? No. Okay. So it should come up as the Andre Forsaken, but it's the same as my Twitch. Mm -hmm. All right, so for anyone who doesn't know, uh, it, what we're doing, and what I'd mentioned earlier, is that uh, Chris and I are both going to, well, I'm going to tank and he's going to heal for a dungeon or two in 14, uh, some of the, the starting ones, and then we're going to swap over to WoW and do the same thing for those, um, and kind of like compare and contrast them. And I don't know, can like, is is his video synced up with his voice right now in my stream? It, it's okay Probably. if it's not, but you could at least kind of like see him. Hey, Ishtar, what's up? Now you're a pretty dragon boy. That's nice. But okay. Your name is Jane Doe. Yeah. So, uh, Brian, when I joined oh, over, okay. when I came over from WoW, really? he said, you have to have a first and last name. And I was like, oh, okay. So I can't have my WoW name because I don't have a last name. And uh, But I played EVE Online. And in EVE Online, you have a first and last name. And I played as Jane Doe. And the reason I did is um, I was told, A, you want a female name. I was like, all right. I just accepted that. <laughs> like, it's like, okay. And, um, and B, you want a name that is somewhere in the middle of the alphabet because you used to target ships uh, in big combat, and people would oftentimes just target what's easiest, and it'd be alphabetical, so A to Z, or Z to A. And so you want to be in the middle of the alphabet so that you don't get targeted. Um, <laughs> and so they were like, I didn't really ask questions about why the female name was, and I was like, that's fine. And I was like, alright, John Doe, Jane Doe, done. Jane Doe. And then, uh, and then when I came over 14, I just carried it with me. Not knowing that, like, Brian and his wife both have the last name Zalazar, and I came over to play with them, and I was like, I could have the last name Zalazar. Could have been like a family relation. I could have, I could have kept my WoW name and then just added the last name Zalazar. I had no idea. Yeah, see, that would have been great. And then for like every single one of his kids that he is having like with, uh, you know, have characters yeah. on, on 14, they could all be Zalazar too. So there'd be like 10 of you guys. I forgot Lims is where you go to for RMT. Um, I never come here. And like immediately, like two <laughs> seconds in, <laughs> the reason the RMT ban is a right click ban is because Yoshi P said RMT is not that bad. And then he played on a live stream and went to a North American server and went to Limsa and got spammed. Oh, really? Uh huh. And he goes, What That's is awesome. this? And it was bad, like, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you just spammed the director of the whole game. And now we have right click ban. <laughs> Fixed it, just like if you've ever shopped at Target and you wonder why they have such thick, nice bags, that is because the owner of Target, the president of Target at the time when they were like growing, went to Target to go shopping, walked out to his car and his bag split open. And he said, never again. Oh, we'll man. just pay more for bags. That hap that, that actually happened so, to me recently with a, with, with, with a bottle of beer. <laughs> all right. So guys, just for like a little bit of background, um, I played WoW from vanilla. Um, I played a horde druid TBC. I played an alliance uh, hunter, Wrath. I went back to my horde druid and I played that all the way through late Pandaria. I quit, skipped Warlords of Draenor. Here I didn't miss much. Came back in Legion, planned on, um, came back mid Legion with the plan of kind of just catching up, getting back in the swing of things and playing BFA because it's going to be amazing because Legion's amazing. BFA was not amazing, so I spent BFA doing all the content that I feel like I missed over the years because I was busy raiding or whatever else. Um, and I'm loving Shadowlands. Uh, and I've been playing 14 since A Realm Reborn because when I stepped away from uh, WoW, that was a logical place for me to put my time. And I came over here and I had played every expansion. Um, I'm just experiencing lore for the first time with Shadowbringers and I'm now taking an alt through A Realm Reborn because Shadowbringers was amazing and I have questions and I want to go back and get answers. That's me. Who are you, Zandri? 
So essentially, uh, I've been, well, <laughs> WoW was my first MMO that I ever played. Actually, one of the first games that I ever played. And I started at the end of BC, like early Wrath. And I was an altaholic, <laughs> as, as, as you can tell still. Um, and I didn't actually do anything max level until Mist. And I started like raid leading and, uh, and guild leading um, for Siege of Org. And I actually did a lot for um, Mythic HFC as well um, in Warlords of Draenor. And I just kind of played like on and off, but I loved the lore and uh, I would always watch like novel videos and then try to compare things and actually read the quests when I played. Um, and I took a break in Legion and I decided to start playing 14 uh, because it was actually suggested to me from one of my viewers, Gwydion. And I fell in love with it. And I have an awesome community that like keeps me interested in the game and i actually started playing shadowlands um and it was kind of like i was leveling after stream so this is actually what i do like full time like is content creating and i play 14 and so it was kind of tough playing one mmo and then swapping over to another one and it felt more like a job than actually playing and so i'm hoping that by doing this it'll kind of like reinvigorate my want to play wow um, so normally I made a mage and I've barely ever tanked in WoW before. I did some, like, third tanking in Siege of Org for, uh, I believe it was shamans that you needed three tanks for so that you could do the mechanics correctly. You would tank one of them inside, uh, on or hold, and then move outside once, like, you could get rid of, like, some void, do void zones and stuff. But, um, but yeah, so hopefully I'm gonna be tanking on... A Dark Knight for 14, and then a Warrior for WoW, as long as everything still works correctly. <laughs> I had to make sure I had a main hand. I, like, logged in earlier, and I was like, okay, do I have a main hand? Like, do I have a sword and board so I can actually do this? Like... I hate that about relics. I hate that to, to upgrade your relic, you have to, like, they're like, hey, give me your main hand. Yeah, but that's, like, what determines who I am. Like, I can't, I can't, can I give you something else? Like, I don't, like, I can't unequip this. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh, I'm being asked to properly introduce you to my chair, <laughs> but every guys. Oh, I know the Chris, chair. Chris I I here. lurk and stream <laughs> all the time, and anytime people aren't talking about the chair, I start talking about the chair. Yeah, um, see. <laughs> I it's like no no. Why are we not talking about the chair? Is that your Amaro hatchling? No. Oh, that's who's it's over, whoever's next to It's Amaro hatchling. Yeah. Nope. I don't have the. I have initials on because I found that, that running so much group content, it's just a matter of time till I say something about people in my group. And it's important that I don't reveal their identities because then I would very, very, very quickly be pushing up against terms of service. I'm not intending to try to trash anybody, but when dumb things happen in dungeons, I have a hard time not saying anything. You can trash my tank skills. That's fine. Um, Let's, she's we'll gonna, she's gonna report me, and then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a 30 day ban. I've never, I've never reported anyone. I, uh, I don't I report even for RMT. know how to I report for RMT. People. That's about it. Aw, thank you guys for the bits. Um, <laughs> Look at these nice pillows. I keep forgetting honestly, about Honestly, RMT it. doesn't even bother me if it was in-game if they weren't actively spamming me. Like, like I don't personally care because it doesn't affect me. Um, like, if, if somebody is, is farming the gold up in a legal way, whether it's being done as a job or not, and they've optimized it or not, it's not being done with a bot, and then they want to sell that gold for real money to a friend or whatever, like, hey, will you pay my subscription if I give you a million gold a month? That doesn't bother me at all. It's when right. I'm getting spammed by all these like bots and stuff that it just becomes really distasteful really fast. See, I'm gonna get picked on for what I'm about to say, but <laughs> I'm I have a really really easy time just <laughs> ignoring stuff. So like, people always pick on me because I'll be paying attention to Twitch chat, but I'll be streaming at the same time and I'll have like other people in my party and I'll just completely ignore party chat. People will be like, Zan, these are the mechanics, and then I'll get into a fight. And I'll completely mess up on the mechanics. And people will be like, we told you in party. And I was like, oh, I didn't even see it. So, like, I am really good at just ignoring things. So I just never, like, I don't even know how to blacklist. I have no idea. But um, that's just me. It, it's definitely a thing. I have people on my blacklist, but it takes a lot to get there. It takes a lot to get there. How do I get chat back on stream? I'm being that. told that uh, you, you spam Nino's uh, feed with videos, so you're, uh, you're just... Oh. If you've subscribed to my personal channel and you weren't looking to get videos from my personal channel, I am really sorry. 
Oh my um, gosh, no, he's kidding. <laughs> I, uh, I, so I am jealous. posting, I am posting twice a day right now. So like legitimately, like if anybody was like, Hey, when I was, well, yeah, but Brian and I were actively asking for help to get to the first thousand subscribers because it unlocks features on YouTube of like how YouTube channel channels function. And so like we asked for help. If anybody was part of that, we're now mm. well past that. If, if you don't want, to, I, I get it. I'm so sorry. I spam a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so much posting. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Did did uh, did we want to just do it with you and I and go into? Yeah, oh, never yeah. mind. Just we're kidding. doing it. We're tank healer. This is gonna be instant. Okay. There's no. Yeah, there's no I know. Up I just party finder. Wanted... There's no add a code. Um, we're just gonna go, and it's gonna be instant, and we're gonna get random people, and it's gonna be amazing. Okay. <laughs> Make sure your tank stance is on. <laughs> I'm. I was kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying when I go into low level content, that's the first thing. I don't know why it falls off. I mean, I know why it falls off at a technical level. As a user, it doesn't feel good. All right, let's remember what we did here. So we got we got cure. So don't like, thankfully, Wait. in low level content, like things are so friendly. Like like mechanics really don't like hugely matter. Um. Because, like, this is the oldest and earliest dungeon in 14 that you would come across. This is it. This is this is the one. I really, I have one AOE ability. <laughs> this is... This is not fun. Yeah, it sinks... I, I don't know how I feel about sinking down. Like, on one hand, there are advantages of it. I do. Like, overall, I think sinking down is a bad thing. It protects the content, kind of, but because we prune abilities over the years, you're not even get to run it. Like, we would have had Protect back then, and you don't have Protect in here. So, like, you're so not much. even running it as it was. You're running it in some weird form of what it was. Right. Oh, well, we're going to check the memo. Oh. So we're actually going to know? Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Nice. I didn't read it, but hopefully they did. I mean, they ran over to it. I usually it's just possible guess. they didn't know what that meant though, because they're a thaumaturge. I, so I usually just, just read it. Guess. I'm not gonna lie. Like, oh yeah, just guess. Um. Yeah. How do you feel about dungeons being four mans versus five? It honestly, like, I thought it was weird at first, and I kind of like got picked on because I didn't know what a light party was at the time, but. Just the fact that it's only a difference in one DPS, it's it's not that odd to me. If it was like you had an extra healer or something, I'd probably be a little bit more like, eh, this is weird, but it's not so bad. I totally didn't ask if you were cool with me pulling this much. Uh, I mean, I only have the one heal. So, you know, as long as that heal seems powerful, we're good. Sure. I just, I just really have like, I have cure one. That's plan A, B, and C. There is no backup, other than I have swift cast raise. I think so. Like, there's our backup plan. <laughs> Edge, I I use rampart. It's it's it's, it's on cooldown. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for it to come back. I'm up, not my dude. super good about optimizing which cooldowns I use. Like when so, when something happens and I'm like a, a mechanics incoming, I'm like use a cooldown, and then I'm just using a cooldown. Like I'm just now like getting better about like okay. This is group wide. I should be using Shake It Off because um, it's way better. I did macro my stone so that it's target of my target, so it's it's yours. Nice. And that's that's a big help. I'm trying to do this without mouse over healing. I've always mouse over healed in in any time I've played games. Do, and I got picked up about and it. People were like, "No, you got to try this." All yeah, right, I'll try it. I've always like I redid all of my stuff as mouse over macros, and everyone was like. I can't believe that you have everything as mouse over. And I was like, well, this is how I always healed, like when I would do like arena in WoW, I always healed on a Holy Paladin and this is how I would do it. And people were like, no, like you should move your UI stuff. You should have everything hot keyed. It's so much easier because it's more damage rather than healing. And I was like, oh, cause I wasn't used to that unless I was playing like a freaking fisty monk and I was just fist weaving. Um, back in like Miss when Miss Weaver Monk was first a thing, or like on a um, uh, a disc priest. When did you first get into our rating? Like how how long were you? Was that uh, like an it was not thing? until Siege of Org. Uh, okay. It wasn't until Miss for Siege, and the reason was I was in this guild 
Hang on, let me grab these back. Um, and I was really irritated because I, I joined to play with all of my friends um, that were, uh, that I hung out with at the time in high school. And everyone was like, well, um, you should play WoW with us. And I was like, no, like, that's not really my thing. Like, I've always just kind of played RPGs. Like, I actually started with Final Fantasy VII. And, uh, and they were like, no, 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 play with us. Like, join our guild and whatever. And so I did. And then they never did anything. I was so pissed. I was like, yeah, are we gonna we raid? Like, I left. heard raiding's fun. Are we gonna PvP or whatever? And then they just, like, were never, they never logged on. So I ended up creating my own guild because I was so irritated. You didn't just join another one? You went off and, like, made your own? No, I made my own because I was mad. <laughs> All right, so what are the odds that somebody knows what color we're supposed to pull here? I don't know. I didn't read the book. I would take a one in three chance. That book that we pull off to the side, in case anybody has never known that because they've just cleared this content, <gasps> tells oh, you oh, a, it has, like, a poem in it that has a color. Yeah, I mean, we can That's... talk about the community if you'd like to know. And yeah, I miss Fist Weaver too, James. Thanks, I buddy. will say that, so Mouse Over in WoW um, comes from, A, you have way more targets. You have you have 25 to 39 targets, depending on when you got into healing. And uh, so like 25 to 40, like that's, and so it's a lot. And second of all, like you have a shorter global cooldown, but you don't have anything off the global. So there's a, there's a rhythm to your actions because it's steadily at the global, as opposed to here, like it's a constant weaving between this really slow undulating global and then all these off the globals that slide in between to increase your actions per minute to something that's engaging. But, and so like what WoW results in is people become really reliant on spell queuing, which is where there's a gap at the end of one spell where if you cast it, the server will say, you know what? We don't know what your latency situation is. Maybe you're playing from like a postage stamp. It's fine. We'll just go ahead and store that as your next action. And so you get used to like anticipating the next action and kind of queuing it up. And you're always kind of queuing one spell into the future. And so with mouse over, it lets you change targets rapidly. And you're playing whack-a-mole as a healer. And so you're point shoot, point shoot, point shoot. And you're just assigning the correct heal to the correct target, moving on to the next one. And they're going off at this steady clip. Doesn't matter what kind of heal it is. And if there's a cast time to that, it adjusts that. But like I played as druid healer, so it's a lot of instant healing. So it's like, it's just point and shoot every global. And so mouse over healing makes sense. This healing right. already feels way different. So like I get why people are like, you don't need that. That's not that's not the best way though. Um, so it's actually kind of funny because Edge in chat just said that for raiding, mouse over healing is superior. But it's funny because from that's not what I've gotten from other people in 14. Because everybody picked on me because every single heal on my white mage was a was mouse over. I mean the it, highest every... in content's only eight man. Like the lowest yeah. you run raids within WoW is ten. Like the, you're immediately talking about more targets at it, like right, Which right makes from the so get go. Much for a mass over. So the more targets there are, the more it's like, no, no, I don't want to bind to certain slots within my party. I don't want to have to click between like nine million pains. I want to see a bunch of pain. I want to see a bunch of health bars, and I want to pick one, and I want to do it, and then I want something about those health bars to help me identify who's more important than someone else, because there are absolutely moments where like somebody's gonna have to eat something and you need to know what the priority is because you can't it's not like oh well i'll just top everybody off that is not an option um, yeah and fram also um just mentioned that it's it, it harder to work in 14 because it doesn't like um macros like aren't properly executed sometimes so people will put like a ton of extra strings in for fail safes and you can't necessarily do that with a mouse over so or you can, it just might not work. Yes. Yeah, my, my stone macro is target of my target, and then if not, just my target. That way, because I put target of my target first, and then I realized in single player content I couldn't do anything, because I don't, I don't have anybody, like, <laughs> nobody's doing the targeting. Um, and that's all the macro is. The more complex the macro is, the more it, it can really get nasty. Um, that's why in crafting macros, like, you have to have, uh, like, that slash weight. And then you can't, like, you can't interrupt it unless you have that, I think there's a hotkey to do that. Um, but like by default, like you, you base that ship is sailed. You're on like a 30 second journey. We don't really have any AOE at this point. Like, I mean, I have one. <laughs> this is all I can do. <laughs> That's 
So I literally pulled everything up to here, but I also thought that I had my, uh, cause your anti-knockback, if you use it uh, when you're tanking, um, it slows down all of your targets. So like they can't cast or hit as quickly. I... And I thought that I had that up, but apparently I didn't. <laughs> no, it's long. It's like 120 seconds for yeah. arm's reach. So I literally was just like, oh, I'll just pull everything to the door and use arm's, arm's reach. And I was like, yeah, oh, it's long. It's long. No, that's not up. It's Sorry. long. <laughs> Which is a bummer because like in fights, they'll like a boss will do a knockback like every 60 seconds. And that means every other knockback, you're actually going to get knocked back. Yeah. As opposed to the in-betweens, it's like, no, no, I'm going to stay up here. Thank you. Um... I am playing Dark Knight right now, Fenway, oh, and just so everyone knows, kind of the, uh, I don't have anything yet, 15 seconds. <laughs> you um, just took a huge hit. I know. Because I used everything the on world's trash. world's first tank buster. <laughs> um, but key? just so everyone knows, I'm trying to, uh, only speak when Chris isn't speaking, to make it a little bit easier on your guys' ears. I know I talk a lot usually, but I I'm trying to be good. Streaming is about filling the void. It really is. Like as much as it's interactive, we don't, you don't hear chat's voice. So like, you're just in this room alone. It's just- Well, no, Evan's over here. Um, on stream? No. Oh, okay. But you're in this room as the one talking. Like there's not like yeah, a dialogue. No, I'm the only one in the room talking, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I leveled. <laughs> Look at that. Fancy. And I, I don't think I'm doing too bad tanking. Well, we're just doing Sestasha and RFC, like the yeah. world's easiest dungeons. Oh, oh, oh. And then <laughs> next week is Tamtara and Dead Mines, which is the world's second easiest dungeons. So it's really not not a horribly crazy large amount of content. Um, I know not everybody is into watching the other game, and obviously you and I both like are more involved in the 14 community. Um, <laughs> And so, like, I know not everybody's into watching. We're just running one dungeon. It's just one. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I don't know if you ran RFC this week. Did you get Kiromi Time unlocked? Uh, I haven't, un I, I mean, I have it unlocked. I haven't, I have to, like, choose. I wasn't exactly sure what I needed to choose for RFC. They, they tucked it into Kata. It's in Kata, okay. Because I didn't choose anything. So, like, I'm literally right in front of Kiromi. Okay. On my warrior, you can change and I'm as many like... times as you want. So, okay. like, you, I wasn't can, you sure. can change at will. Um, as soon as you hit level 50, it's going to have, like, uh, like, you know, chromie time is over. You're going to get kicked out in 60 seconds or something like that. So, as soon as you hit level 50, you are you are out in the world, and there is no okay. more chromie time. Chromie time can also be used as, like, an advantage because it's an instance of the world. So, like, you can pop in and out of chromie time and in and out of war mode as a way of, like, um, verifying what rare spawns are at. Because oh, that's cool. that's yeah, those are different instances of the world, and so you can yeah, basically I, I jump shards by jumping in and out of chromie time and in and out of. Um, and you don't have to be in chromie time at all. You can be out where the world is dangerous. Just be aware that if you're doing that, then everything I'm in the zone is going to be at the this, highest way. level. So chromie time is what in, what enables world scaling. So I don't know if any world scaling still takes place outside of chromie time. I haven't tried. So basically, wow, this last expansion like restructured everything and in the process it broke a bunch of things so they created like a world visit type system where you go to this person chromie this time mage and she allows you to go back and visit expansions kind of as they were um and that allows you to queue for those dungeons and run those quests and be locked into that expansion's timeline because the new player experience no longer includes the previous expansions um it includes, like, it, it puts you in a timeline. It puts you in BFA's timeline, and then you're straight into Shadowlands as soon as that's over. So you don't even finish BFA. Um, so it's super fragmented. And, like, I know for 14 people that sounds awful because you're like, but, but what about all that lore, though? Well, there wasn't, like, a main story quest to Vanilla. So, like, you're not getting denied something, and it's always there. You can always go push an alt through it. Aw, thank you so much for the reset, Finch. I appreciate it. No, you're amazing. Unreal Sasasha? That would be amazing. I would love Unreal of every dungeon in the game. I think scaling should be an optional thing. Yeah, it, it definitely should be. Um, Although, I would rather have scaling with all of your abilities, or have it be a choice, rather than scaling down and having, like, two... 
when you're used to everything else. I, I guess that would kind of be overpowered, though. I wonder if there was a w there could be a way to balance it. That's what they do when they introduce new jobs, Red Mage and all that. They scale them back down and they cut them, they trim them up. Right. And and, and they're and they have too many abilities. And people are like, well, they break the content. It's like you're you're breaking level 17 content. Like is that, like a yes they do, but b like is that really the concern? You know, like this this already here we already ignore the unnatural ripples. Like right. there will be no ads. There will be no dodging anything. I will stand here, and I will DPS this entire time as the healer. <laughs> like, that's that's what's going to happen. Do you ever play with ACT? Uh, I have. Um, I've never actually had it on stream, and it's not necessarily because I'm scared. It's because I just uh, don't know how to do it um, <laughs> so that it's captured. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have, at the moment, I have this issue where, like, if I don't open it up and run both 14 and, uh, ACT as admin, um, it won't work. And so, or it'll just, like, it'll start calculating all of my little random numbers, and then it'll, like, stop halfway through, as though I died. Um, oh. so I haven't used it in quite some time. Not since, like, E5S, like, release, essentially. We did it. That was somebody's first time to complete the duty. I'm assuming the Thaumaturge. Well, uh, well, we actually have somebody else doing a cutscene. All right, good for them. Nice. Cool. There we go. Thank everybody. So excited. I, I could actually, no, I can't use it here. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Roll I on everything, roll on everything all the time. Always roll, always roll. You want to right. descent things. Do you even level your descent? No. Oh my gosh. I know. I they nerfed there. it to involve more people, and my fear was, but people won't care. And like, this is why. Like, why nerf descent? <laughs> it didn't draw people in. They're still leaving I mean, gear on the ground. It's like everything. Like, I like uh. the idea of all of it, and it, like, I actually enjoy crafting and gathering in fourteen more than WoW, just because it's like more interactive. But at the same time. I've gotten distracted doing other things, so I haven't even leveled it up. It's bad. <laughs> These so is, you just do it after the dungeon, so I'm just going to break them down right now. That so, was fast. Do you have Do you have my chat up? Uh, no. That was fast. Oh, okay. So Nino was uh, wanted to complain about uh, Kata dungeon balancing. So he said when you pick it, you get classic dungeon lists for random dungeons, and once you get to about 40, uh, you're forced into Kata dungeons, and they're not scaled well. Um, uh, um, I have run of some of them on my shot. Death Knight, and I can tell you they absolutely can be a bit punishing. And mechanics are very real in Kata. Yeah. I didn't know you could yeah. come back down. Okay, well, good thing my character's only level 11. We got some yeah, time. Mine's 13. <laughs> okay. Well, if we get pushed too high, we'll just create new ones. It's easy enough. Yeah. Uh, well, keep... I literally was just like, I didn't want to finish leveling my warrior that was on Bleeding Hollow, because I was like, I already have a warrior. So it's level 13, it's on Emerald Dream, and it's like this random undead warrior that I I'll have to look at the abilities too, because I have no idea. Cool. Well, that was and easy. Yes, I, 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 assume, I assume as we get into harder dungeons, this 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 section of kind of collabing with you will get longer, but that was Sestasha. Like, that's the whole thing. It yeah. really is that quick. So oh, now... no, this isn't Chris's first time in 14. You're so sweet, and thank no. you for the raid, by the way. First time, uh, <laughs> first time uh, healing PvE content in a long time. Yeah. I would have healed Sistasha before, but, like, when we move beyond level 30 stuff, that'll be all new for me, um, healing. But, no, I've been playing 14 since ARR. All right, so now we switch. Okay. That's easy enough. I gotta boot up WoW first, or it'll show my desktop, and I don't know what's on there. Probably just email. Like that's I don't do anything on this computer except stream. Mm -hmm. Like when people are like, "Oh, they showed off their bank statement, or they showed off their address." Like step one, have a second computer, and mm -hmm. don't do any of that on this one. Or just don't put stuff like that on like a desktop that you're gonna show. Like well, I'm just saying like it's not even on this computer. This computer's never logged into my bank statements. There is no way to accidentally show off personal information. I meant more like for other people being the dumb. Oh, yeah. all right. Did that show up? Yeah, it showed up. Okay, cool. And we switch. So now we're in WoW. I'll change stream info so somebody don't come in and they're like, what is this? 
That's how you get comps for mentor. I mean, I, I, I waited and I calmed and then I left, but I just didn't need the gear. That's what I was saying. All right. Did you already have it up? How did you log in so much faster than me? Did I have you... it on an SSD. Do you have, do you have a lot of add-ons installed? No. That's probably it. My whole computer's on an SSD. So I'm going to assume it's add-ons. I have like 9,000 add-ons. This character doesn't need them, and I have them anyway. I want to be prot. Glamour's go. also helped for comms. I mean, I was wearing the Valentine's event outfit from last okay. year, my dude. I assume you have groom on your friends list over here? Um, <laughs> I, I, yes, I think. What's the max? I have like 300. I don't know what the max is. <laughs> But yeah, send me a friend request. Uh, okay, I need a battle tag. Or, uh, World of, I don't yeah. know. I think World of Warcraft name. I think I don't know if we can do that cross server. No, it's Meg M E G G hashtag thirteen eighty five. Even if you have a totally unique name, they're still going to assign you that number at the end. It's yeah. just a thing they do. Hey, look at us! Look at us! Huh? Who would have thought? All these people hit and follow and subscribe. Thank you guys. YouTube comes in all at once now because that's. They screwed up the API, so we get like. You feel dirty many... because of wow. It's supposed to be a compare and contrast. It's one dungeon. It's one dungeon, <laughs> it's one and one it's dungeon. the easiest dungeon. It'll it is okay. Sastasha level wow. It, this is this is the basic basic thing. It was it was originally like level four content. Like this is absurdly short. All right. I have to. I right. accept. I, so I sent one to you. I, oh, you have victory rush as a freaking okay. Cool. I sent you. Did I not send you a friend request? You did. I accepted it. Your wife's number is 1234. That's wonderful. Oh, are you showing us offline? Oh, no. There you are. There it is. I found you. I was uh, just going to say, I shouldn't be. Maybe. I have other people down below. That's okay. All right. Uh, uh, hamstring. Hooray. Pummel. Um, okay. So, do, do I get any actual ability? In Final Fantasy, you unlock this. You unlock your first engine at 17. Um, in WoW, you run your base intro area, your kind of new Hall of the Novice, brand new thing, Exiles Reach, and when you come out, you can queue for dungeons as often as you want. In Final Fantasy, you um, the most common time that a player, after they've manually queued for things, is going to end up in Sestasha is if they're doing their leveling roulette, um, which is a once-per-day massive source of experience, but and tomes, kind of, I think, if you're a calf, it's a good source of tomes. Hey, and that's that's really it. You do it for you do it as part of roulettes. Um, it'll show up randomly as part of, but over here, like, it's really only while leveling, and I'm being told, like, there's going to come a point where it'll even drop out of that. Um, and it it's never required it's never required by story it's never it's a totally optional thing um and they're always random there's not a roulette you can run as many random dungeons as you want but you're once per day you have you get a satchel of helpful goods which will give you some loot um and then like some bonus experience uh but i think the bonus experience is each and every time you run randoms back to back to back um, but they don't have all the other roulettes, right? They don't have an MSQ roulette. They don't have a raid roulette. They don't have an alliance raid roulette. They don't have a trial roulette. Like there's all these other things that kind of make up for that in 14 that add some variety. And in WoW, it's like, no, no, you just spam dungeons until you log out. Um, so. um, I've, I've always played both hobbits. Um, and for anyone who's just coming in, yeah. So Chris and I um, are, we just ran Sestasha and now we're going to run uh, RFC. Um, and we're both, I'm tanking again, and he's going to be healing, and we're just kind of like going over what the differences are so everybody can see those and, and how different it plays. Um, and it's just going to be one dungeon. <laughs> it's okay. I remember so it was really low, one. Fido. Okay, thank you. 13 to 18. So you're doing kind of the opening area, and then you're immediately here. It's like as soon as you show up in org. Does this shield give int? I don't know. Yes. You said it was Kata, right? It's heirloom, so like it's all gonna scale to whatever my spec needs. So you don't even have to check it. Uh, yeah, it's Kata. Are you over here? Hey, that's you. I'm in oh, Orgia. Yeah. Uh, wait, Luski, Luski. That's just some... there. We go, Luski. There you are. Hello. Hooray! What's the rarest mount you have? We'll do a single Asmund Gold mount off here. A single. All right. Single. All right. Let's go. What's the rarest mount? I don't know what the rarest mount I have is. Let me look. I can guarantee let's this see. is mine. There's oh, no you way you have the, this. Uh, I don't have that one. There's no I, way. I don't, I, I don't. It'd be really a pain to get I, now. I don't, but... It was hard favorite, to get then. My favorite, and it's not even hard to get, 
but my absolute favorite is I have a yak. <laughs> and, I, and I love this yak, but I don't have that one. Oops. But I have my yak. Which this yak? is my favorite. Is this the cutest thing? It's so cute. There's a gray one as well. Is there really? Oh, yeah. you have that one? Uh, this is the blonde one. That's the one you're on. And here's the gray yeah. one. Oh, I didn't have the gray one. I only have the blonde one. And then there's also right, the uh, Grand Expedition one, which has the vendor on it. The uh, the has the um, yeah, transmog that vendor. That's a glamour dresser, ladies and gentlemen, right there on a mount. And then this is my other absolute favorite, the Grove Warden. Uh, this was from AOTC for uh, Hellfire Citadel. I don't have that one. That's the moose. But I yeah. do have. I don't have the. But I do have this one. Same model. Nice. That's archaeology. I didn't even know they made a spectral one. It's archaeology, cool. and it's a limited. I think it's a limited time. It's a timed event, I think, and it comes around. Mm. Let's see. Cool. Well, there's your there's your mount off, ladies and gentlemen. We have like yeah. I bet combined we have less mounts than the people that really compete really in that. Cool so. Well, I mean, I have the volcanic stone drake that I was really excited about because I did this like drake, right after drake, it was coming. Drake, drake, Drake. No, look at all these drakes that came out that I don't have. Oh my goodness, there are so many. <laughs> if you have Invincible, yeah. Memoron's Head, or Ashes of Alar. I don't have any of those, but... You don't have Ashes? Ashes is a fun I, I one to go farm ashes. up every week. I don't, I don't like farming, like, raids for mounts and stuff. I don't know. I'm right. weird about it. I have the cool. Twilight Drake. For somebody who plays 14 as much as I do, I have a shockingly deep, like, casual level of stuff in, in, uh, in WoW. All right, uh, let's do this. I've, I've never really let's get, done a let's get, let's get these 14 people so they don't have to look at WoW anymore. Right. I know it doesn't Sorry, bother everybody, guys. but for some people, this is like active pain right now. So we Sorry, queued up. Um, so. All right. So one of the first things that's different um, that you guys notice will notice is that in 14, uh, you actually turn on a threat generator. Uh, depending on what your class is, you used to be able to do it. So paladins would turn on uh, their retribution and they would be able to uh, have, have a threat generator that way. I don't have a threat generator. So... Um, <laughs> like, uh, not a button. I, I have, like, things that I can hit stuff to try to generate threat, but I don't have a button that I can just turn on. You have increased so... threat for being a tank, don't Wait, you? Wait, we're doing Mara? Oh, crap, no. Oh, no. Mara? No, I'm so sorry. How do we leave and not take a penalty? You can't. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't manually, I didn't specific. <laughs> I pressed random. <gasps> I'm not ready to heal this. Do you want to do it or you want to leave and take the penalty? No, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is so much more let's advanced than I was prepared for. Okay, guys, this is much later. This is like a level 40 dungeon originally. This is, this is, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Here we go. Okay, guys, so this is probably something more akin to like a stone vigil. You have to heal me. Oh, God. Oh, my You're... God. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. I forgot I was healing. How do I, okay, so you guys said there was a way to move raid frames where I can, like, how do I move raid frames to where I can move them? Like, I don't want them on the left side of my screen and I don't have an add-on for it. You said there was a native way when I was in this last time. Thank you. Uh, interface. Oh my gosh. This is, this got more intense way too fast. <laughs> Click that arrow. Got it. Arrow. Oh, she's pulling. We're doing it. Oh, I didn't we're really. I thought you were ready. We're doing it live. No, no, we can do it. We can do it. Unlock. <laughs> Raid. Great. Oh, beautiful. Lock. Great. That's perfect. I have any abilities? I don't have any threat generators. This is fun. Not really. And I'm rooted. This is an intense dungeon run with no mechanics. <laughs> this is. This was never designed to be run at this level. This is resulting of their change. Well, next week we'll run RFC. I need a whole bag room. <laughs> it's so bad. All right. So we're jumping straight into like Stone Vigil at like level 12 and 13 or something. Which was not possible until pre-patch of this expansion. Like this, oh, yeah. this, is, this is not possible and for good reason. Like there is absolutely no reason to be here at this level. Okay, so I have to kite these blobs, but I'm probably going to take a lot of damage, just so you know. So level doesn't matter? Kind of. So we, but we're basically in Unreal all the... Well, we're in Unreal all the time. Like, everything scales. 
up to you. So the entire dungeon looks like it's my level, but I only have access to the number of skills that I do at my level, and they've now based they've now spread the skills across one to fifty. So there's now all your so now everything, every skill, every passive trait has there's fifty of those, and those have been broken up. So at level 11, 13, whatever we are, you only have thirteen of those. Um, but like everything here is trait. the right like level. Like I'm seeing everything as level eleven. She's seeing everything as level thirteen. My DPS meter is seeing everybody as if they're all doing level 11 damage, and they're not. Like, they're, there's an 11 in here, a 12, an 18, 12. So we're all too low level to be doing this. <laughs> why? Why this didn't you pull all the this? Yeah, so like, all the way up to level 50 can total, totally be in a group with us. A level 49 could be in here. Are we supposed to be killing these things eventually here? Is that, is that yes, the plan? Yes, but I, I, have to, I have to kite them. So I can't, I can't do much about it. I'm glad you know to kite them. And now I'm rooted. I think if I was staying at my first response would have been to just stand there. I don't really have a plan. Let's start trying to do some damage. Oh, nope, nope, no, I'm not. No, don't, don't, don't work on doing any damage. Just spam heal me, please. <laughs> because nobody is interrupting these entangling roots. So I can't kite anymore. Okay, we killed them. Thank God. All right. Okay. Yeah, so this is like Bray Flocks, maybe Stone Vigil, something like that. Like, that's kind of the equivalent of this. I don't know how many dungeons there are between this and what we were supposed to run, but I misclicked. Quite a few. I just clicked random, so we're going to get, like, a massive amount of experience. So because we're doing random, we're going to get the bonus, and the bonus is, like, it's at around our level, it's a whole level worth of experience. So this is, like, MSQ roulette levels of experience. Seriously? I, I, I hit, I hit you. So, this is this Okay, is so these worms are really irritating too, just so you know. They, they kind of explode, and I kind of have to pull, like, all of them. All right, I'm ready. Oh, it's going to be irritating. Oh, nope. I pulled, I put, I was waiting to put the hot on you, because I knew it was going to pull threat, and then it's it okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I got it. My first tendency would have been to pre-hot you if you were worried about dying, but... Do they not do the splash damage anymore? Okay. I mean, they used to do They've splash damage. They've nerfed a lot of these dungeons, so we're only going to have to fight two bosses in here. You Maybe. didn't click on the wrong stream, Grayson. Uh, the title is now that we're doing a compare and contrast. We're doing one WoW dungeon. It was supposed to be RFC, and we kind of messed up. <laughs> so, oh, I got that interrupt. Yeah, buddy. Can other people... Are there more WoW dungeons than 14 dungeons? Uh, No. There, there are more 14 dungeons. The only difference is that, like, a lot of people will, obviously, as you know, like, level through dungeons for WoW. So, in my opinion, just because of that, they're a lot more um, memorable. Because in 14, you usually either just do the unlock for it, um, or do it through story once, unless you get it in roulette later, or you want to farm for glamour. So, it's kind of... Why do you think that is? Like, do you think that's just because they don't have an MSQ that is feeding them narrative and you're just doing quest hubs, or...? Probably. Because um, effectively, at that, when this was new content, quests. you would have just been doing the equivalent of side quests. Now, there were yeah. side quests that became iconically well-known, um, but, like, you know, like Mankirk's so, wife, but, like... The, the boss is going to be in, not the, MSQ. Uh, in the water. I'm glad she knows this dungeon. Like, look at all this knowledge, guys. <laughs> and these things I are just really irritating. Did you see that? They put a poison on me. I so would have that's been... what we're that's what I thought it was. They they I thought they exploded, but it's the poison. So now no Noxion, we just want to make sure that nothing is going to hit us while we're fighting him, but I'm gonna pull him out of the water over here. When I played Druid up until I learned to tank in 14, I always did ranged, so I was always a balance or, or a resto, so I always played caster or healer. And that's, I mean, they could share gear. I mean, there was best in slot for one, but. Get over here. Oh, when those die, I can use my victory rush? That is so nice. I'm geeking out a little bit, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's 127 WoW dungeons? And how many 14 dungeons? Are there more than 127? The, I knew they're both a big number. They're both an absolutely big number. When I was 
when we were talking about doing this project, she's like, how long will we do this for? And I was like, until we don't want to, because I'm pretty sure if we just did, like, one dungeon from each each week, it's like years. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> okay. So then, grab the loot from there. I'm excited it's only two bosses, though. Uh, yeah, for, for this one, there's only a couple. A um, so now we're going to go up here. So if you have like a hat that you can throw on me before I grab the rest of these worms. Sure. Because they're going to do the same thing. And they're going to poison us. And then you also like, so I'm going to keep, oh, he can freeze them. That's nice. Um, so I'm going to tank them over here because if you get closer to that, little uh mushroomy thing that also sprays out poison so now we're gonna go up here she's got a plan this is so much different than than what i thought we were gonna do <laughs> yeah yeah i was like guys i only have to be able to do rfc i practiced i did a run of rfc i was like okay i feel good this is fine and then I have a, I have another week to like actually get raid frame set up and before we do anything real because even dead mines has more. Thunderclap. This uh. has to be mouse over. I, I thought I could do this like I was like well I'm trying it in fourteen I'll try it here no 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 no, no. this is not okay. Um, I got that interrupt. I don't I actively Since nobody don't else wants it. to do it. <laughs> it lowers their DPS. Although in low-level dungeons, because of the way threat is generated, there's it, there's almost no way, since we're all low-level, there's almost no way to top the tank. Something. Hang on one second. So she's oh, yeah, absolutely top DPS. forgot to put my XP down. Oh, and almost on. always will be. I forgot there was a pat here. Trials could make up the difference. Oh, that's true. It's, I mean, the early trials are still four man. Uh, they don't turn to eight man until level fifty, right? Put these together. She's focused. Sorry. <laughs> what was the question? Uh, when do trials move to being eight man? Is that level fifty? I think it is at level fifty. Chat, is it fifty? There's forty one in nor normal and hard trials, seventy six dungeons. That puts you in that like one thirty. So they're they're neck and neck. So if you count trials and dungeons, they're almost the same. Oh, yeah. That wasn't terrible. Yes, I am thinking. I, I was doing a comparative thing. We were, we were going to do uh, Sestasha versus RFC. And, <laughs> and then uh, I'm off. And forgot about uh <laughs> I just pressed dungeon. I was like, yeah, yeah, dungeon. Done. No, 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 no. I needed to change it to specific dungeon. Unacceptable. It's okay. It's week one. It's week one. I think I think RFC is fast enough. Next week we could do RFC followed by Deadmines. Yeah. Deadmines was like my favorite of the uh, low level dungeons. Happy New Year, love. And they've it's changed. I don't know if you've run Deadmines since Kata, which I mean, anytime in the last ten years. Yeah. But it I is have. not the Deadmines of vanilla. Um, did you like running it before the change? It was way better. It has an extra boss now. It's not even like the same yeah. number they, of bosses. They had changed RFC too. Not recently, but they, they changed it. That, that big tool tip that's popping up, uh, I don't know if it shows up on stream. Um, might not. Might be just clipped. It's in my bottom right. Oh, it should be, it should be healing. Uh, yeah. There it is. That's Marlon. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> we did it. I leveled twice in there, and almost. Oh, a... I did wow. too. Almost, I leveled yeah, twice. I have a lot of rest experience. Two and a bit. Oh no, this isn't classic. So uh, the the idea was uh, we're comparing and contrasting uh, fourteen and WoW for um, for dungeons, and we did Sestasha, and I tanked on my Dark Knight, and then. <laughs> yeah, nope, because I forgot to turn it on, because I'm a dumb. Cool. Well, well, is that enough WoW for you? Do you want to run RFC correctly? 
I mean, I wouldn't mind if we wanted to run RFC correctly. Now I have all of my abilities. All right. If you want Specific dungeon. Rage Fire Chasm. Join as party. Here's our one. Uh, all right. Thank you so much for hanging out, Lightning. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Have a nice rest of your night, man. A DK as well, then? Um, No, because I don't like DK tanks. Uh, if I'm going to tank, I prefer either Warrior or Paladin, and Warrior was what I had for the correct level to do this. Aren't the 8-man guild has the first 8-man content? FF14 yes. Is <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is a new this is a new texture pack for um for Final Fantasy 14. Do you guys not recognize this? Yeah. Can you can you guys hold on one second? Can you guys hear the the music now? I'm sorry. I I had turned it down. How's that? Can you hear it now? I didn't realize we just did that whole dungeon without my music on. <laughs> That's unfortunate. If I actually use the HUD, there's a 14 HUD mode? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, you can make a quest. There's a quest app that makes it look like quests and then plays like the proper quest complete sound. And then oh, um, that's cool. controller support now being native means that there's add-ons that like will make that look like a cross hotbar setup. You miss old org music? So I, I have a yep, lot of people you can, that... You can jump into WoW and basically play it as close to 14 as you want. Um, but as you guys saw there, so like, I don't have a lot of abilities that generate threat either. So I have two abilities that will, uh, kind of like save me for, for, for damage. Oh, did you unqueue? Yeah, I didn't see you. It didn't show you as... It, didn't show we had a healer and a tank. Are you not in tank? Oh, that was weird. Because I had a... All right, we're in the party. Yeah, I backed us out because it, it showed as we had a DPS and join us party. Do you have the right thing selected? Do you have tank selected? Ooh, that's fun. I don't even know if that's the, the best thing, but I'm, I'm using War Machine. There it goes. Tank and healer. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. I don't have... I was like, that is there. unacceptable. Why are we sitting here for more than one minute with tank and healer? You got to be worshipped by goblins because you put... Oh, Alright, here's the dungeon we're supposed to run. This was the actual dungeon. Yep, so this is the, the first dungeon and in WoW. RFC. These so. quests are not voiced. Because this nope. is old, old, old content. Um, if you're... Okay. And you actually don't have to fight those. Okay, Hunter, go ahead and fight those. You can. You don't but you don't to. actually have to fight those guys. They're just hanging out. All right. All right. This is this is going to be easier. I'm telling you. It's much easier. I mean, especially now that we like you know knock the dust off with something much harder. Uh. <laughs> It worked uh, out fine. I don't want to get hit by lava. I don't want to get hit by lava. I don't know the timing on it. Oh. Man, I just expect mouse over to work, and it just doesn't. It's like an immediate... Nice. I leveled. Did, whoa, somebody else leveled? Somebody else leveled. I heard a level. Is that you? No, it wasn't me. You're already up to 15. That's crazy. You're going to end up with an extra character out of this. Do you have a warrior already leveled? Uh, not, not totally leveled, no. Have you always played Horde? Yep, always Horde. I, I mean, I have one that's like 45 or something, or 40. What made you, you picked Horde because your friends that played for Horde? Yeah, because they told me that if I played Alliance, that it was, it, it was the, uh, the faction that people who didn't know how to play and, like, were crybabies and whined about everything, that, that is that it, was the faction that they played. Isn't Asmin Alliance? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are, like, Alliance-heavy servers and Horde-heavy servers. And the splits are bad, like 90% the other way. 
And then they don't use the way that it like merges you with other servers to fix that. They just let it stay that way. So like world PvP can get really one-sided. Um, not something that 14 has to worry about because it doesn't have world PvP, but, and it doesn't have factions. I always kind of wondered how different of a game it'd be if when you picked your grand company, that was it. And like, you couldn't play with other grand companies. Um, I don't know that it would have been better at all. I just, it just would have been an interesting change. You weren't right next to me. I, I was totally trying to move him so that he would hit you with the fire breath. But you weren't right next to me, so I hit the freaking... Oh, did you hit the rogue? The poor shaman. Oh, the other shaman. <laughs> I do love that this is, like, it's so quick to find a party for something that's so old. Um, granted, we're healer, we're healer tank, so, like, that's a huge impact. But, like... It's also, like, I think a five-man is a better representation of, like, the more DPS you could put in, the better. Like, I kind of wonder if a six-man wouldn't be even better. Hmm. Just because that closer represents the actual ratios. You know, like, when we moved to just one tank in um, Alliance Roulette. Okay, oh, hey, those are actually an upgrade. Cool. Yep. I don't think... We've rescued scouts. Do you want an M plus in 14? Like, obviously, like, Brian and I talk about it all the time. We want it. I think it'd be great, like, for the extra difficulty, because people, like, a lot of people complain that things aren't difficult enough for the dungeons to begin with. Yeah, they're they're easy on day one. Like, yeah. even when you and first even step into an expansion. No, hard mode is a, that's the wrong word choice. I think a lot of times the word choice is wrong on stuff like that. I think calling Blue Mage limited job is part of what made it sound, it feel awful. Is because people immediately heard the word limited and they didn't think like limited, like limited edition. They thought limited, like it can't do things. And actually in my mind, it might be the most social job in the game. Mm -hmm. Like it is very much about like playing with other people and like there's these mass farms when it gets new content. Um, so like limited's not quite the right word. Um, it's definitely separate, but like we don't call du Deep Dungeon Limited Dungeon. Um, right. And I actually don't, I, probably if I did it like with enough people, I would like it. But for the most part, I don't like that that's the way to level. Because like that's why I don't. Oh, that you can't really just go out and like farm all that stuff by yourself. Like you have to be in dungeons and stuff like that where you need people to help you get your Shiva skill. <laughs> I, I just think it's it's more fun to to have like a full group to do it like just to say that you got to a certain floor but not to actually level that way like i don't like the idea of for for a deep dungeon i don't know maybe it's just me have you cleared deep dungeon no i haven't i've only gotten to floor 50 i think and the only reason that i even got there was because i thought that the Edda story ended at floor 50. I didn't realize that it ended at floor 100. Did you, have you um, have you touched Torghast? Yes. What do you think? I actually like it. I like how like the different, how there are certain abilities that are a lot of fun um, and you don't necessarily get the best abilities to help you out. And it's a lot of fun to do it with, um, with someone else as well. It's just, sometimes you can feel OP and sometimes you're like, why did I get this ability? Like, I have no idea. <laughs> But I think it's fun regardless. So I'm going to go to the right and to the worm. Did you clear Mage Tower and Legion? No, I didn't. Did you attempt Mage Tower and Legion? Once. And I was horrible, so I stopped. It's It was hard. It was hard. It's, it was very similar to like the people who try to like solo Heaven on High. Like, mm -hmm. it, it just it slammed you in the face a lot. But like, once you got it, I got three of my four specs done before it went away. Um. It was hard. M plus has uh, a major problem in rewards. Yes, because I level in M plus, the eye level of the loot scales based on the level of Mythic Plus you run, and 14 doesn't do scaled loot ever. Like every piece of loot is a static thing. It will always be that level, it will always be those stats. And so they would have to build in 
Like, building in dynamic dungeons also builds in... You have to build in dynamic loot. It's both. Um, roulette and 14 to compare. No telling what we'd get there. I already ran my leveling roulette today. Yeah. That's probably the best comparison. The fact that I've already run my leveling roulette and the fact that I had not run my, my roulette over here. It's like, I, this feels so endless that it feels like you're not... It feels like you're not getting... There's no reason to do it today versus tomorrow. As opposed to my leveling roulette encourages me to like do it, even if I'm kind of on the edge, because like that reward is going away. Um, I'll only be able to run it once tomorrow, and so if I want to run it twice more this week, I have to do today's for that to count. So I think that that might be like that might be the comparison right there is that we both already run our roulette and we have it and we hadn't over here and weren't planning to. Um, even though it's great experience, it just oh, yeah, isn't a priority. Sure. Nothing. Uh, I got. I, I got wrists. This way. Yeah, it's this way. All right, we're gonna go over here. Shut up. Sorry. When I, whenever my character yells at me and says I'm out of range, I always tell it to shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't you guys or anyone from chat. It's just. They could do I'm this weird. in the same way they do the dungeon on uh, 14. Make a static that you slowly improve. They could. They could. They could do M plus as like a static set of levels. Um, and it, yeah. And then it, the, the affixes be fixed. Um, I picture the affixes being like floor modifiers from Deep Dungeon. So like, I don't really want to ask of them to make anything that they don't already have. So I want to ask like, okay, how do you make, how do you make a different combination of the features you already have? So we already have Deep Dungeon floor modifiers. That's a thing that we've done. Like we've been there. Um, and we have a set number of floors and it, and it's procedurally generated kind of like it's random, which floors you get, but from like a set. So you could have sets of affixes that can be combined. And then every dungeon could have like a couple of versions. Um, and then as you step up, it could go up by set amounts and maybe the rewards purely cosmetic. Like maybe it doesn't have to be better gear and maybe there just aren't as many levels. Right. So like, it's just meant to kind of push you a little higher. Where you come out with another tier each time you come out with a new raid tier and then, then you're getting new stuff at that eye level so you just kind of adjust it so there's not this dynamic it's like no no this tier was represented this is the 5.1 tier this is the 5.2 tier and so on um but there's definitely a way if they if they wanted to do it they could and yoshi p says he like he likes the system um i mean he's a huge diablo fan and it has a lot of greater rift to it um but like he he finished the statement brian and i asked him in our one-on-one -on -one interview with him at the media tour and he said i like the system i like a lot of things wow has i wish that i had the funding that was WoW a had. lot easier why is my stream messing up That's so, so he's weird. like i wish i had the funding that wow had it's like well my stream is yeah. being the dumb sorry guys I, I have no idea why it's messing up it might just be because of wow because i don't have everything set up for i don't know cool we did it Okay. Easy. Yeah. Easy. That wasn't so bad, was it, guys? And we even made you we even made you just like your parents accidentally we made you consume two vegetables worth. So that's it. Yeah. 